Hello, and welcome to the first episode of JRPG. I'm Jay, and some of you might be wondering about this channel. You might be saying, is this channel only about JRPGs? Well, I'm here to inform you that it's just a name. And really, you can say it translates to J reviews and plays games, or J really plays games, but really, it's whatever you'd like it to mean. And in the future, I might play around with that jokingly uh, a little bit in future episodes. As I said, I won't be covering just JRPGs. It'll be any console that I can get my hands on and anything game related and that may be worth informing people about, informing you about. Maybe things that were out a long time ago, I'll bring those things back up like a throwback episode to Wheneverland and you know there might be things that uh, went unnoticed kinda got tucked underneath the rug and I'll be here to unearth them dust them off tell you guys all about them another question you might have is what is an informative channel well like I'm doing now and what I've done so far is providing answers or information that you may not know and be curious about things that you don't know about the gaming industry these are the things that I'm going to be telling you. Uh, I personally enjoy many videos on here on YouTube about people who entertain by educating, people who teach and not have jokes injected into things so that um, people just have to laugh at whatever. You know, if you're doing a video, top 10 games of all time, and you have jokes at the end of them, and you know, it just takes forever, and it's like, oh, I don't want to hear about all this. Just tell me what the top ten games are, you know? I want to watch the next video after this. So, that's me, and I figure, you know, there's other people out there, too, that like informative channels, so, hey. I'm always learning more and more about the gaming industry uh, by watching these people, so that with this channel, I hope that I can be doing the same thing for you. I hope I can also introduce you to some new aspects of gaming you may not know as well. Just to let you guys know, I I want to try to have my videos around the 10 minute mark. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Uh, they may be shorter, maybe longer, just depends on the content. Uh, like today's episode is probably going to be shorter than normal uh, just because it's the intro. You know, it's the first episode. It's to let you guys know about this channel and kind of the thing that I'm going over today really isn't a whole topic in itself but it's something that I didn't know and I was thinking of and I was like you know this would be great if this existed and does and so that way for people who were in my situation can be helped out you know that's what this channel is going to be about it's going to be about telling you guys things that you want to know you know I'm gonna have an episode in the future that's gonna be about secrets of the gaming industry secrets that you know secrets for game collecting and stuff like that and so you know secrets that nobody wants you to know see you know where to find games and stuff like that because I mean, I'm not an expert but from my experience that I've learned for this little bit of time that I've been collecting you know there's different things that work for different people and there's some other ways that I found to get games cheap. That's a good key feature there, cheap. Uh, cheap games, pay a little bit, worth a lot. That's where you want to be. But back to my point. For right now, I'll be doing these videos monthly. Uh, I may occasionally upload some of these videos in between. So just keep an eye out for those. Um, but expect one from me every month by the end of the month. If I can get ahead on some too, I mean, this is the first episode. I don't know how fast I'm going to be turning these out, but if I can get them made pretty quickly, then I may go bi-weekly. Who knows? Cross your fingers if you want to see more. These videos won't be just lectures, mind you, except this one. <laughs> but I want to try to mix them up with different styles. Like what I mentioned earlier, um, a bunch of videos that I'm going to have, I want to teach you things but I want to teach them in ways that you can relate and learn so that they're fluid, you know what I mean? I've thought of some ideas for videos like open conversation car rides, you know, and so I'll have like some GoPros around the car and just talk about 
stuff going on in games or um, just talk about stuff in the gaming industry uh, with some family and friends and maybe uh, after I get better acquainted with some YouTube people maybe have them come on I mean my brother and a friend of mine they have YouTube channels so they'll probably cross over um, into these OCCRs who knows I've also done videos about console repair and restoration uh, for a previous channel that I had so I may do more videos like that in the future so we'll see I also want to do videos involving whiteboards and have some stats and statistics, dates, etc. Stuff like that up there so that you can kind of see a clear comparison and a pros and cons right there. Do a really good comparison right there. I do plan on doing videos involving gameplay. I'm not going to have any in this episode, but soon I will. Uh, so at that point, you can watch me play some games and hear my rantings and all that good stuff. All in all, there will be a bunch of different styles of videos that I'm going to be having coming out on a monthly basis. That's why getting it to bi-weekly is really the goal. So I can churn out some of these different videos every other twice, you know, two a month and see what you guys like best and keep churning out those ones that you do like best the most. Either way, I appreciate you guys sticking around, um, and do keep sticking around, and see, check out the other videos that I'm going to be having coming out, um, but enough of my introduction, let's get to our first topic at hand. The Nintendo 64 Spine Labels. One problem with the N64 was that it was hard to tell what game you had if it was loose. Some people resorted to writing on their games to tell which game was which. My copy of Star Fox 64 had the name written in Sharpie where the spine label is now located. I have other copies of games with letters on them. These I obtained from my girlfriend's brother and he used the letters to tell which game was which. This actually was a common problem. If you check out a used game store when you get a chance, you'll see that some of the N64 games that they probably have will have writing on them. Now. I'm not endorsed by anyone, and eBay and no one else is paying me to say any of this, hence the informational channel, but in case you have some N64 games that you want to organize or you're a collector and you don't know how to display your N64 games, I'm here to show you how. This is something I never heard of, and then one day I had thought about this idea and I was like, you know, I wonder if it's already made. So I looked online, and sure enough, eBay had it, um, and they were way better quality than I could ever make. Um, so that's why I wanted to show you guys, because I know it helped me with my collection, and I know it can help you. And I mean, there's a lot of different choices on there too, um, and especially if you're from a different region, then there's ones catered to your region as well. So, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Um, and the one that I showed you too, the one that I have, is the cheapest one. It's really not that bad. It's not bad quality. Um, also, I didn't mention this at all in this video, but they're labels. They're not stickers. And so when you peel them off, you know, they're sturdy. They're, they're thick. They're not cheap like someone just printed it on a piece of paper. It's not paper. They're actually like labels. So they're pretty legit. But either way. Here are where you can buy the Nintendo 64 labels. I got them on eBay. Um, these ones are the ones I have. They're pretty cheap. Um, here's a closer picture if you want to see what they look like or see earlier in the video. There's also different uh, kinds they have. These ones, uh, they have the full 296 set. They're more expensive though and they look a little different. So I mean it's really up to preference which one you prefer. These ones here are the same price as these ones, but these ones are a little bit better quality, I guess. The ones that I have are purple and green backgrounds. These ones are kind of more golden with the N64 logo, so again, it's up to your preference and whatever you feel you would prefer. 
And then uh, if you live in Europe, they have the PAL version too, all 243 um, labels. So what did you guys think? I hope that you liked this video, uh, and I won't verbally ask for you to like likes or subscribe or comment or all that good stuff. You know the drill. But I will, in my outro, mention it a little bit. But thanks, guys, for taking your time. Watch this video and learn a little bit more about uh, these N64 labels and that these N64 games were very hard to display. You know, it's something that the N64 was lacking, and one of the very few things that uh, the other consoles had a one-up on. I mean, it wasn't as crucial, a th crucial of a thing, and I think now for collectors and people who want to reminisce, it's more of a thing that is desired. Either way, I hope it saved you some stress from pulling your hair out. So, if you're interested in these, uh, I'll have links to the eBay listings below um, that I showed previously. And thanks again, guys. I hope to see you next video.